everybody, this is Gab here. Welcome to the fourth episode of the series What's in the Box? Oh, what's in, the box? in the last episodes, which by the way you can check in the description below or in the playlist, I unboxed the Sennheiser PXC550. And now it's time for the big brother from Sennheiser, which is the Momentum Wireless. So let's see what's in the box, shall we? Where's my knife? Ooh. Well, this is a heavy box. I choose the ivory color, which it looks much more interesting than the black one. Here are some specs which nobody cares about, but if you want, you can read them if the camera focuses. And let's see what's inside. Just cut this and this. It's basically the same experience as with the other Sennheiser. I just slide this and it makes this really annoying sound and then it stops. And here we are. You have here that soft lining. And a really nice case made from this material which I cannot touch because I get goosebumps. Why do they keep using this? This is some candy, more candy, manuals which we don't need. And that's it. So let's see what's here. This is an interesting case. I don't like it. Actually, it looks sturdier than this one that came with the Sennheiser PXC 550 Where they are just simply like this But I still prefer the Bose one. This is much nicer So let's see what's inside. It's quite thick. So this is not very nice for traveling It's also not very hard, it's very squishy, so if you have something hard in your luggage for sure it will destroy this case. As you can see, you have marks from the manual that was inside the box, so if a piece of paper can do this. Ooh, they come in a fancy bag. In the middle here you have the accessories. This is a micro USB cable. I'm not quite sure if you can use it this for audio as well. With the PXC550 you can, but I will just check it and put it on the screen. You have the same 3.5 mm to 2.5 mm jack as the other Sennheiser model. And at the end you have the plane adapter. So there is no 6.3 millimeter jack for your amp and also more candy. Let's put all this inside and take a look at the headphones. And would you look at that? So I don't like it, it can be squished, you know. I hope they they will recover because of, look, man, look at that. It looks almost damaged. And you have some protective foam in each ear cup. Let's leave that to the side. And here are the headphones. Here you have a toggle switch for the volume up and down. This is the 2.5 millimeter jack, which is lockable. Here is where you charge them. Here are the microphones, which they look quite big, to be honest. Another one on this cup. This is how you power them on. And this is pretty much it. The thing is that they look very, very solid, but I don't think the comfort will be very high with this. Um, this strip inside here, it's so hard. I don't know if you can tell it, but there is no foam inside. What I like is the, the sliding mechanism, it's, 
it has no ratchet, it's just a friction base. I don't know how long it will hold, but it looks nice. We have the NFC tab here, and this is pretty much it. Let's see how they look on my stupid head. Well, to be honest, I'm looking at myself now and they don't look very nice on my head. And I think I was wrong about this color and maybe they look better in black. Well, let's do a quick sound test. Maybe they just blow my mind with the sound. Let's put them in pairing mode, which I believe it's put by pressing the power button. Some very faint pairing up here. And you can see the momentum headphones. And let's see. Oh, they are already connected. Oh my god! These sound amazing. Who cares how they look on your head when they sound like that, you know? Anyway, if you want to see a full review about these, as well as a comparison between these and the Bose and the other Sennheiser and also the Sony MDR-1000X, please subscribe to my channel. And also like this video, maybe? I don't know. See you next time. Come on, go out. You can do it. You can do it!